We're live with little or no editing. It's defense up. I'm Run Seven. How you doing? Save your cores, save your gold, save your energy, save everything except, well, maybe not the ISO 8 campaign energy as we have an event running right now. We have a lot of different events coming up that are going to require you to save certain things for certain times. So stick in that events tab, just to stay in there every day and check out what's going on so you know what you should be spending and when. I am trying not to use the 50s refreshes on any campaign energy that I don't have to. I'm waiting until the end of the day to go through and making sure that I've completed all my dailies before I spend those 50 energy refreshes. And talk to your alliance about when you want to do a raid push with the new 10% bump in stats. Well, I mean, it's not all 10%. There's some variation, but you get what I'm saying. They did a, a, a bump in the stats in June 3.3, and everybody who is level 80 or above is going to get 500 raid energy and 500 raid heal energy. Uh, and that's going to go over your maximum cap, which is great. So you could potentially have something like a thousand energy and heals. So you need to talk to your alliance and schedule a good raid push for when this compensation comes to us because you're going to have all the energy and stuff you need to really get through. Also, those Doom raids are now at 60% for first time completion, so it's a great time to be working on that with your alliance. So pay attention to the events, pay attention to your energy, pay attention to the compensation when it comes through. We grade on five different criteria here at Defense Up. It's who you're using, their placement, their power levels, their ISOs, and what kind of mood I'm in. Had lots of coffee, had had a great time on stream talking about kids and jail and all sorts of crazy stuff. If you want to be a part of that, Monday, Wednesday, Friday mornings, about 9 to noon here at uh, Central Time. <clears throat> We're going over Needle's defense, and Needle sent this in. If I can get my arm out of the way, let's see. Yes, we have uh, great placement, great ISOs on the Web Warrior. Everything done right with this team. It gets an A. We're going to move right on to team number two. Um, my tab button isn't working, so that's kind of weird. Whatever. Okay, there we go. All right, team number two. Uh, this is kind of a thrown together group here. You've got Shuri putting the defense up on this team and um, uh, Yo-Yo putting offense down on the opposing team, reducing a lot of that incoming damage, plus the deflex coming off of Doc Ock. So I think Taskmaster will survive, especially that seven red Taskmaster. Welcome to the club. Uh, I think Taskmaster will apply those uh, blinds with the Skirmisher ISO. I think it's a good a good ISO for this team, this build. I think this is going to work. This is an interesting composition. Nothing we've seen before. Uh, I think there might be better things. Excuse me. There might be better things to do with these tunes, but I think this works. I like the ISOs that are being used. And yeah, I, I think it's a good mix. I think it's something to do. So I can go for an A with this team. Um, and, and I kind of like that it's a little bit new and we're gonna see some more new teams as we go through this list. So let's move on to team number three. This is the Axemen. Now, <clears throat> I have a problem with the Axemen here. Whoops, this one didn't get resized, did it? There we go. I have a problem with this team. It's that Beast is a healer, Jubilee is a striker. Um, it looks like Needles is gonna be approaching the content where Jubilee needs to be a skirmisher. Beast always needs to be a skirmisher on this team so that you get those combos off of Bishop. Uh, and if you're running Jubes as a striker, you need Beast as a skirmisher to get those extra vulnerables out there and combos off of Jubilee. So definitely, definitely change Beast to a Skirmisher. Probably change Jubilee to a Skirmisher. And then let's change the placement. At lower difficulty raids, this works because you're getting two people to get knocked under, I think it's 50%. There's a, there's a percentage level that gives the team some more, or gives Beast some more speed. So this works at lower difficulties, but when you start moving up in those higher difficulties, like Doom 2.3 and Doom 3.1 and higher, you gotta put... Uh, uh, Bishop on one end next to Iceman, next to Kitty, uh, and then it can be Beast or Jubilee, your choice. So, I would like to see a change of ISOs on Jube, and I'd like to see a change of placement on Bishop, but I have to see a change of ISO on Beast. I'm going to go C plus on this team. Team number four is a Doom Surfer weird composition here. Now, <clears throat> This is another like leftover pieces put together in an interesting way that works. Uh, Invisible Woman is normally really slow, but she gets that 50% turn meter when she drops under 50% health from Doom. You also have the synergy, the cosmic synergy with Surfer and the other characters uh, with, with Invisible Woman and Doom. Doom gets some stuff because he's got Invisible Woman in there. 
You've got Riot Guard in here who, if you're not using him with Taskmaster, he's basically useless, but you found a spot for him. He's putting those deflex on Doom and Surfer, helping to keep them from uh, uh, having ability blocks landed on them. And then Deathpool in here doing lots of damage, um, <clears throat> making sure that like a Mum X Factor team doesn't come into this, something like that. You've got two skirmishers, two strikers. Uh, yeah, that's okay. I'd like to see you change Surfer to a Raider. I don't think you're gonna get a lot of value uh, with him as a striker. He's better as a striker on offense, but it's okay. So for me, I think this team is an A minus. I like that it's something new and interesting and different. Again, we could probably come up with more powerful defenses, but I like that Needles is trying out new stuff. We don't get a lot of that at defense up, so that's really cool. Team number five, this one's crazy. <clears throat> Red Guardian opening up with the taunt in the beginning. Then you've got the new warriors doing their, their thing, right? Throwing out those negative effects. You've got Black Widow speeding up this team. Iron Man of all people. He's prolonging those negative effects and he's got some synergy with Black Widow as a wave one Avenger. Uh, Iron Man is the Raider. He's gonna be Raider on his team. You've got Striker Skirmisher combo and the new Warriors. I love this. I love everything about this team. I wanna see it in action. I wanna try it, I wanna fight it. It sounds great. I'm giving you the A plus for this one. Team number six is the Asgard. <clears throat> All right, so you went with Fortifier on Sif. Might be a little bit early to put Fortifier on Sif at that level. If she was Teal Gear, I'd say go for it. If they're not able to strip the taunt, then Fortifier is the way to go. If she's still too small and they can strip that taunt off of her, you're probably gonna wanna just leave her as a Raider, but I don't know. Uh, looking at that level five, that 2.5 blue ISO, uh, that looks great. We're a long ways away from using that in mass, but that looks like a great choice for Sif. So maybe we're going to start seeing people moving Sif to a fortifier. I'm not going to mark you down for it. I'm just letting other people know. Probably want to reserve the fortifier until she is into teal gear. Uh, otherwise, everything else with this team is great. Mighty Thor can be a striker. I like her as a raider. Valkyrie can be a raider. I like her as a striker. So looking good here. I like the placement. I'm going to give you the A for that team. Team number seven is the Young Avengers. For me, the only only, there's two things I don't like about this. <clears throat> I don't like, um, no, I'm sorry. I do like Squirrel Girl as a healer. I'm starting to think that she should just be a healer on her team everywhere. We're using her for her healing abilities with other teams. I think it's best we just lock her in as a healer. I don't see that much damage coming off of her, especially when you've got Kate Bishop as a skirmisher landing those blinds on her moves, and she's being sped up by America Chavez, which is fantastic. I would like to, however, see uh, Squirrel Girl and Echo trade places. I want those evades from Echo on this team as soon as possible. So I want Echo adjacent to America Chavez also. Uh, once you get those evades on this team, it just extends them. And if this team can survive kind of long enough that Squirrel Girl can pop off that cleanse, this team then just becomes a nightmare. You just can't seem to get around it. So <clears throat> let's just do a placement swap on this. And I think I'm going to start recommending Skirmisher on Kate Bishop from now on. The resistance that's coming out with these new tunes is just so huge that Skirmisher has a lot of value on tunes that have important things like blind. Uh, gonna go with the A minus. Let's just get a placement tweak on that. Team number eight. Okay. Shang-Chi as a skirmisher, I don't understand. If you guys know what is going on with this team, please leave a comment below and let me know why Shang-Chi is a skirmisher. He should definitely be a raider. He's got raider built into half of his kit. Um, the, the whole team has a little bit boosted uh, crit and stuff like that. The only thing that Shang-Chi provides is a slow for negative effects and then clearing positive effects uh, off of the other team or uh, maybe clearing some negative effects from his team. Maybe that's why you have the focus boost. I'm not really sure, but Raider is the way to go. Raider is definitely the way to go. His crit damage is out of this world. That all comes by and he just clears the field. So I do not like Skirmisher on him whatsoever. Um, I do like Skirmisher on Iron Fist, Fortifier on Luke Cage. All the others is great. Uh, placement is great works for me so i am gonna go with a b minus on this because i think that that is a terrible iso choice on shang chi you went 2.4 on that too i just don't understand why you would go so hard into the skirmisher on that one so hopefully somebody can can tell me why down below moving on to team number nine here's something i don't see a lot of i have heard of this 
Haven't really seen much of it. It's putting Dormammu on the Marauders in place of Mystique. Mystique is a lot better now that Strife got his rework and stuff. However, I think she's still the weak link in this in this team. I think replacing her with Dormammu makes this team much better. I'm not a big fan of the Marauders. I find them fairly easy to beat, especially at, at, at sub-million levels. Um, so as long as you can keep your team alive through an Icarus alt, I really like this. I think it's a fantastic choice to put Dormammu in here. It's something different than just going Dormhold. It allows you to keep your Darkhold team on offense and still make something very troubling. I mean, trying to kill Strife twice, I think Dormammu is actually going to get to his turns with this team, so it's something good. The thing you got to be worried about is if your Madeline Pryor has low red stars or just low stars in general, probably not going to be it for you. I think Icarus might be able to blow her up, get the double tap, and then be able to kill your Mamu, and then it's just a stubborn um, Marauder team, and it's not a big deal. So make sure if you have a big Marauders, you could be throwing Dorm on here. Uh, I like these ISOs. It's fine. I'm not super familiar with your Mamu or how it's kid works so honestly to me Dormammu tends to die before he takes a turn and his thing is he spawns in and makes people revive so I don't really care what ISO you put on him um, other than I mean you might want to throw Fortifier on him and you know Fortifier 2.5 could be crazy on Dormammu I don't know leave some comments let me know what Fort what ISOs you like on Dormammu but the rest of these ISOs are fine I think they're great you got two skirmishers and a raider putting out vulnerables for Madeline Pryor to double tap into and of course Sinister as a healer Looks great. Going to give you the A for that team. Team number 10 is the Infinity Watch. I think Infinity Watch still belongs on offense. I think they're a very powerful team. I do like Moon Dragon as a healer on this team. I think the day of having her as a striker is over. I don't quite understand Raider on Gamora. I think you're going to get more damage out of Gamora as a striker on this team. She's going to be getting the counter assist from Nebula, placing the vulnerable, so it's a triple hit combo. I think it's crazy good damage. You have high red stars on her. I don't understand Raider. She doesn't have hardly any crit built into her kit. There's like a, a passive 10% increase or something like that on crit chance, I think is all there is for her. So I don't like that. Um, it could work if she does crit. It's massive huge damage. And then you know, as, as long as you're using this team with Nebula into something other than like Young Avengers where you're getting the counter assist, I'm 100% I'm thinking that Striker is the way to go on Gamora. So I don't understand the Raider it's not the worst choice you could put on her, but I do think it should be a striker. Um, I do like the healer. I like all the other ISOs. Placement placement doesn't matter on this team, guys. Every time I talk about placement with the Infinity Watch, I get lit up in the comments section. I get lit up on Discord with people telling me why that works or doesn't work or should be something else. So I don't care anymore. Place them any way you want. All right. But let's change that to a striker. I just don't like Raider on that team. I'm going to go with an A minus on this. I don't think it's detrimental, but I think you're going to get a lot more value as a striker. So this has been Needles Defense. If you want your defense featured on Defense Up, uh, find me. Links are in the description. Be sure to hit that like button while you're down there it really helps me out and stay tuned for more content coming out i am working on some edited content these days so we'll have even more videos coming out on the challenge on the channel remember guys don't just have a good game be good to yourselves and others too and i'll see you next time bye